Now, the brain stimulation is the implantation of the electrode or leads inside the brain at different parts of the brain. Uh, and we have a generator or pacemaker. So essentially, it's like a pacemaker, but the lead doesn't go in the heart, it goes in the brain and to control the movement or the abnormal movement the patient can have like with Parkinson disease, essential tremor, dystonia or like that. To determine if the good candidate um, patient for the brain stimulation, uh, again we have evaluation with the team. Uh, it's different for if the Parkinson disease patient or if it's essential tremor patient. Donc example, for the Parkinson disease patient, to be a good candidate, we need for sure it's an idiopathic Parkinson disease. Uh, we need for sure the patient initially, when he starts his disease, uh, he responds well with the Cinemet. It's a medication we give, it's a levodopa. If we have good response with that, and the patient have no cognitive problem, uh, it's a good candidate for the implantation in general. For the essential tremor, um, you have no really good medication at this point to control the tremor for the essential tremor disease. So when we decide to go for that, it's when the patient is ready for or ask for. So he said, okay, I tried the medication, doesn't work, I cannot do the activities I want to do, um, I cannot go outside of the house because I'm not comfortable and my quality of life is not good. This is the time when we discuss about the implantation for the essential tremor. For the dystonia, um, it's a little bit different. For the dystonia, uh, normally we implant in the pediatric age. And the goal, we try to keep the patient can move normally without abnormal movement and um, decrease the deformation of the body. To know for sure we are the good place for the implantation. We have multiple uh, level of the evaluation. So first, we need to have the best imaging. After that, we have computer system to help me for planning exactly where part of the brain I need to go and also what place I need to pass inside the brain. For sure, I don't touch the vessel or the important part of the brain. And during the surgery, we monitoring also the activities of the brain and different part of the brain at different activities. So uh, we evaluate that and we find again, okay, this is the best area uh, or the activities we need to see. After that, we stimulate uh, this area to check if we improve, we improve the, the sign of the symptom. Um, so this is like four evaluation we have for sure. Again, at the end, we have the good implantation. So during the surgery, the test with the wing, essentially, uh, initially we do the test for sure we find a good place. Uh, after that, we stimulate, and this is at the time when we evaluate the patient. So the evaluation we do, essentially we evaluate, uh, example, if the patient has the tremor, we evaluate the tremor. Uh, Sometimes what we're doing, uh, we give like, water, uh, a bowl with water inside, and we check if we control the tremor with that. And uh, we ask a different neurologic exam to check, uh, again, if we control this tremor with different movement. We check for the side effect. So when we stimulate, we, we stimulate the maximum we can and see how we tolerate that. And we check also sometimes the side effect. So if you have problem with the vision, if you have problem with the, like if Phil you have pulling in the face or like that. But this is just temporary, just to check, okay, when we stimulate what we what we what response we have. And again, the goal for that it's to show we go in the best implantation site and uh, with the minimum side effect or no side effect. Uh, so this is the advantage the patient is awake also doing the surgery because we can evaluate everything before the permanent implantation for sure we have no side effect and uh, best implantation site. So after the surgery, so after the stage 3, when we finalize to implant the extension and the battery, 
Uh, the patient wait around three weeks after the, the implantation to turn on the stimulator at this time. Now this procedure is not cure uh, the disease. The goal of this is to control the maximum the sign of the symptoms or, uh, or the movement of the patient have or the involuntary movement. Um, this is the goal for that, but it's not a cure uh, for that. The brain stimulation, eventually we can treat other disease. Um, we can treat at this time the, uh, the OCD disease. We eventually probably treat the depression also with that. Uh, we hope, and I think we will be there, uh, treat the patient also with the severe TBI and uh, help to wake up the patient when it's the vegetative state. Um, this is the next disease eventually we will treat with the deep brain stimulation. Soon, we'll have another technology to treat this patient with essential tremor and Parkinson. This is what it will be the ultrasound MRI. Don't, um, we don't need to open the brain for that and we can also uh, take the control of the tremor with that. Uh, and some tremor also for the patient with Parkinson's disease. This is, it doesn't replace the deep brain stimulation, it just offer more, we, we can offer more treatment for patient uh, with this new technology also.